we'll start with creating kind of like a container and then in that container we will have these energies of Taurus to come in and this full moon and help us with whatever we want to manifest and with by using this special qualities that Taurus energy has and then we'll kind of finish by grounding ourselves and by disconnecting or detaching for whatever we put out as our desire. So start with sitting where you are and feeling your foot firmly on the ground. So grounding is very important because it's Taurus, it's connected with the earth. So if you put your feet on the ground, if you currently have your legs crossed, um, just put your feet firmly on the ground and connect to the ground. And then just do a slow scan from the bottom all the way up to the top of your head. Once you've done that, will create a container. So imagine there is a pillar of light in front of you on the left, in front of you on the right, behind you on the right, and behind you on the left. And this, these pillars of light is like a protective energy that we will use to create this container. Now, imagine that energy connecting all around you in all directions and attaching to the earth star so your earth star is few feet below your feet it connects you to the earth so imagine if if you don't know exactly what it is just imagine like a, a glimmering star energy ball few feet below your feet and this container that we have created connects right below your feet take a breath in Take a breath out. Next, we'll connect with the solar star. So we'll imagine a few feet above your head. There is another star, like a mini star. You don't really need to understand the energy. Chakra system is fine. If you just picture there is a star above your head, like one meter and a half, something like that. And those pillars of light connecting energetically to that star. Take a breath in, take a breath out and just feel this container protecting you and surrounding you from all the sides, also from the bottom and from the top. So next we'll connect with this Taurus full moon energy and because eclipse is happening, is partial eclipse, but still it makes those energies even more intense. So now imagine high high above your head where the sky is you can imagine dark starry night dark starry sky imagine constellation of taurus again you don't need to be precise if you don't know how it looks like just imagine taurus symbol of taurus somewhere in the sky and now visualize those energies coming all the way down Kind of like a rain, like a liquid rain, like a plasmic li liquid rain coming all the way. And where your star chakra is, it starts kind of coming into funnel and that energy starts trickling down via column through your head. So just above your head, there is a crown chakra. So imagine those energies now starts trickling in a fine stream, not too strong just yet, just a little stream, like a couple of centimeters in diameter, starts trickling through your crown chakra, then through your anja, third eye chakra, then through your throat chakra, then through your heart chakra, then through your solar plexus chakra, then through your sacral chakra, just around where your belly button is, maybe a bit lower. And then your root chakra, which is just in between your legs, where your legs connect. And that energy also goes down, whatever is excessive, goes down in a little stream, 
where your earth star chakra is so if your body feels that this stream is a little bit too strong and it doesn't need that much you can adjust this funnel that this energy is coming through and you can make this effect a little bit slower so now let's just allow that energy to come in and let's just connect with that energy and as we are connecting to this energy this energy is of wealth stability abundance reliability being connected with the earth being realistic being reliable also being stubborn but at the same time let's say having this strong will which if you decide something is kind of programmed in your cells to go for it and to achieve it so this mountain like earthly type of energy bull with the horns heavy creature earthly creature this type of energy coming in and saturating all of your cells also this energy is associated with venusian sensuality so life pleasures food sex beauty uh, any other physical things that you can enjoy and think about so just having this sensuality really being able to extract from life from your everyday life these little pleasures and enjoy like foods and drinks flowers nice materials and overall this sense of well-being wealth stability slowness at the same time so not having to rush anywhere not being pushed to do anything having your ground firm so all of that all of those qualities coming through and saturating all of your body all the cells in your body connecting with each of your physical chakras and mixing with the specific energies in your crown chakra in your third eye chakra in your throat chakra in your heart chakra in your solar plexus chakra in your sacral chakra and in your root chakra and we can just check in just allow yourself to feel if those energies are coming through remember you have this container so it is absolutely safe for you to let go relax and become completely receptive for all of those energies to come through take a breath in imagine you draw those energies down take a breath out imagine if there is too much or anything excessive you can just let it go let it drip down let it stream down if there is anything that you feel like it's coming on too strong or it's too much again those energies coming in breathing in and saturating not only your body not only your energy centers but also imagine that energy comes and fills all of your auric field so your auric field is about two well I don't know in feet but let's say half meter around your body like a cocoon imagine you have this energy field and these qualities are saturating this electromagnetic field that you have around yourself as well so just allow that take a breath in as you take a breath in imagine your cells and your energy field connecting to that extracting saturating itself with this taurus energy taurus full moon energy so we are not going to be starting anything new we will be reaffirming our wishes desires what we want to be like what we like our life to look like and we'll connect also with the gratitude so now the next part create a vision 
of whatever you want to manifest this month, this year, five years from now, it doesn't matter, something that you desire. And imagine that vision playing out kind of like a, in a bubble in front of you. So for this type of energy, especially good wishes are connected with wealth, stability, well-being, practicality, reliability, continuous flow, effortlessness, also arts, sensual pleasures and experiences. So anything that you like, so it's, let's say you would like your life to gain more stability, you would like your finances have more stable flow, so you can imagine, for example, yourself just relaxing at home and checking your bank account and you can see there is money coming in all the time. Or if you see it more in things coming in your life, you can imagine yourself just having all of your bills paid, all of your holidays prepaid, arranged, um, having new things at your home for yourself, for your family, and just this feeling and this vision of yourself being relaxed. So whatever relaxation is associated for you in your head, for me, it's like sitting in a chaise long in a position with my feet up and just kind of taking a time not to do anything, just having time for myself because I have help, because I have support, because the universe and the energies are supporting me. So just connecting with whatever the vision you want to create for yourself. And as we create this vision, as we visualize, imagine how would you feel if that would be already done? So you just start with this kind of, okay, this is already done. This is already mine. I already got it. I already got it. I have nothing to worry about. It's done. It's done. It's done. I can take a break. I can take it slow. I have so much. I have too much. I have more than enough. And just connect with that feeling and also connecting with the feeling. Very important. Gratitude. So gratitude is like being thankful for that. It's like, oh, I'm so grateful that this has been done. I'm so grateful this has been done so quickly. I am so grateful that I got it much faster than I wanted. I'm so grateful that it came into my life. And just feeling this gratitude for this thing that you want already have happened. Okay. Let's just take three breaths in. Just connect with that feeling to your body. Out. Another Breath in and out and one more breath in and out. And now imagine that vision bubble that you have created coming to your heart, slowly, slowly coming to your heart and connecting with your heart energy. Breathe it in. Connect with it fully in your heart. So it's no longer so much visual, it's now emotional. Once again, breathe in. Okay. And now this energy has connected with you emotionally. This vision has connected with you in your heart. And now push that energetic bubble from your heart to your womb. Imagine you push that bubble to your womb because womb is the creation center, at least for women. So it is a creation center. For men, you can push it to your sacral chakra. Is also creative center. 
so just push it to your womb and imagine that bubble that energy bubble now just connects to the walls of your womb it disperses womb absorbs it and now it has become part of your creation just breathe it in breathe it in through your belly this time breathe it out it is important to put these visions not only in your heart space but also all the way down because that's where the creation and the vision gets grounded that's where you get actual actions coming in to bring about what you like so just inhale again with your belly belly breath feel your womb absorbing it completely feel your solar plexus sorry sacral chakra absorbing it and make it it part of that energy okay and now what we're gonna do we're gonna connect to the cosmic mother to the core of creation so imagine somewhere far far again in the sky cosmic mother you can imagine as a ball of light or you can imagine as a black hole whatever is your more um, connection you hold with the feminine with the mother it could be like a cosmic womb made of stars so imagine now that this connection is activated to your womb and this wish this creation this vision is communicated to your cosmic mother so this information is being passed through a channel that connects you your womb to the cosmic womb to a ball of light or to a black hole whichever way you want to picture it and this energy this information is being passed to your cosmic mother is being passed on is being communicated so basically you send it out your wish you send it out your desire so you don't need to take full responsibility and you don't need to take the full energy expenditure for this so you you will be supported by the cosmic mother by the universe by the creation to manifest this so let's just exhale inhale and exhale just let go once again inhale and exhale just let go you don't need to worry about it anymore also you can use this opportunity to let go of any other attachment that you have to having something that you want or to insisting on something just inhale and as you exhale imagine that being passed on to the cosmic mother is no longer your business you don't need to worry about it anything else that you have attachment is very good to let go of let's say overall stubbornness or if you are too hard-headed as the taurus as the bull imagine you just letting that go letting it flow and now you feel completely light you don't need to worry about it so just inhale feel this lightness exhale calm down feel the peace inhale feel the lightness feel the completion exhale feel the peace let go of heaviness and once again inhale feel this connectedness this feeling of not being alone of being connected with bigger things than yourself and let go of worry struggle 
anything that makes you feel uneasy. Okay. So now we will ground ourselves. So feel the connection with the earth. Connect with your feet. Pay attention to your feet. Feel where your feet connect to the ground. Then scan your body upwards. All the way upwards to your knees, to your hips, to your torso, to your chest, to your shoulders, to your neck, to your head, to your crown. And all the way up to your star chakra where that energy is flowing. Now imagine you are kind of turning down the tap. You can keep some of that energy going if you like it. You can enjoy this. But it, just imagine the trickle becomes smaller, the flow becomes smaller. So it's not overwhelming you. Whatever, uh, whatever amount you want to receive to use this Torean energy, this strong, stable energy, you can leave. But this full moon is very good to actually have this openness to receive. And take a breath in. Bring your attention to your body. Take a breath out. One more breath in. Even more your attention and focus comes back to your body. <sighs> Exhale. And once again, breathe in. Your full attention and your focus comes back to your body. Come back. Okay. And then tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap your shoulders. Tap your legs. And you can jump a few times as well. And another bit that you need to watch out in the following days is now this vision has been created and has been communicated to your womb. So if you have any kind of instinctual or creative responses or let's say inspirations that you might get in the next few days. So you, you might be just doing something normal and suddenly like, ah, I could do this or I could do that. Oh, I can call that person to help me or I can set things up like this. So pay attention because your body, your creative impulses will show you what is your part, what you need to do in order to bring about whatever you visualize. Okay, so hello, Salma. Hello, Christy. Okay. <laughs> So this is live stream for now. I think my uh, YouTube completely flopped. I pressed the wrong button, but never mind. At least we got Instagram. So enjoy this amazing full moon in Taurus. And I will see you next time. Bye.